Ahoy there, my name is Beth and this is the story of how I renovated my 1904 Dutch sailing barge. This week, first of a two week special, let's get the ceiling done. So if you remember last time, I'd been putting these third level cross battens in. So, um, so yeah, these battens I've been fitting onto these cross battens. So, uh, so yeah, let's go on with it. I've finished off the battening here, so remember we start up there and then we've done all of these ones. And then all the way up to the front. Right, so I've done um, I've done two battens here uh, just as a test. So I'm going to leave it overnight, even though the glue goes off in like 30 minutes it says, which is pretty good. So it's a wood glue, it's Gorilla wood glue I'm using. Um, so you can see now these, uh, there's two, so this one, there's a single button. Whereas this one, there is now two buttons. Okay, so the big day is actually here. I'm going to start putting boards on the ceiling. We're going to start cladding the ceiling. So, um, so what I've done is I've uh, I've made like a um, 
uh, a line all the way down the, um, the, the roof. So I've measured the center point. So the center point is actually bob on here, um, or, or measured here. Uh, I think my measurement is slightly out, but this one is bob on. <laughs> so then I've got this bit of yarn, and that runs all the way up the boat, this point here. So that is the, the side line of the first board. But this board is going to be a solid board all the way down to here. So the first one is going to be quite hard to do because I need to hold it in place and then nail it in place as well. Um, so that's going to be a bit tough. So I've asked my neighbour to, if she's free, to give me a hand um, and at least then she can hold it up uh, while I nail it in place um, quickly. And then, uh, yeah, then it's, it's kind of in there. So we'll try and do a full board all the way down the boat. So I've got two boards in now, and uh, and they look amazing. It looks really nice. Um, so uh, so yeah. So my neighbour helped me get the first board in, and, uh, and that's all in one line down this uh, down this uh, sort of plumb line, if you like. So look, look, look. The uh, nicotine stained marshmallow cave is going slowly and surely. So I've now got, to, yeah, I've got four boards in there now, and they look really nice. They look really lovely, um, all the way up to uh, to the aft windows there. And um, I think I'm going to stop there today. Um, I've prepared this side, um, so you can see I've uh, I've cut away the foam ready. So these, uh, so there'll be like I don't know, one, two, three, four, five-ish boards without having to do any cutting. Um, because, uh, I, yeah, the cutting the foam away is so messy. So I've just had a really good clear out again. And, uh, God, be really pleased when I don't have any more foam bits all over the boat. Because they're just absolutely everywhere. So <laughs> the, when I when I can do the last clean, uh, that'll be a nice day. But, um, but I still have the sides to do, so that's going to be a while. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna finish there, and in the morning I can start again. So the the next ones are a bit exciting because the next ones I'm actually cutting the the holes for the light fittings. Um, so that's quite exciting. So um, so yeah, I'll crack on with that in the morning. Um, but now I'm gonna have a cup of coffee, walk Bertie, and then I'm gonna get a shower because I'm off to town tonight. I'm going to see uh, Richard Herring's Leicester Square Theatre podcast at the Leicester Square Theatre. Um, or, or as the uh, all the kids, cool kids call it, Rahalista Pub. Um. Well, it's day three, and yesterday we got these four um, boards up, or four lengths of board. Um, what I did yesterday as well is that I'd, um, I'd put a short length to finish here, 
And it was only later on when I realized actually it shouldn't just finish there. It needs to continue uh, going this way. So as it was a really short length, I've just taken it off and, um, and then I'll use that short length in the, uh, in the forward cabin. Um, and then I'll run a much longer length along there. So if you remember last yesterday, I, um, I cleared off the path all the way to the front. So I kind of cut off these, these prominent pieces. So these ones are okay. Um, and that's what makes all of the mess really. So I've got, I think I can probably do about sort of one, two, three, four, four, five boards. Um, so that's quite good. So then I'll have eight. So my target for today is to do those four boards, then cut the next section and then do those four boards. And, uh, and I think that'll be a really good day's work. So, um, so yeah, let's crack on with it. Oh, and Richard Herring's Leicester Square Theatre podcast was really good last night. Um, they had on Ardell O'Hanlon, who was um, Dougal in Father Ted. Uh, that's probably something that haunts him. <laughs> he was in lots of other things as well. And, uh, and Alan Davies, who you'll probably know from QI. But it was a, it was a fun evening and uh, it was nice to, see, nice to see a friend and have a couple of drinks as well. So, uh, yeah, anyway, let's crack on. <laughs> So I kind of got a bit carried away there, but I um, I didn't put the camera on. You've seen me cut foam before, um, but I just sort of cracked on with it. So I've now done um, sort of all of this side, all the way to the um, to the aft um, windows. So um, so yeah, so I can crack on tomorrow. Um, I do. I will need to uh, to kind of clear this side a little bit, but it's not too bad. Um, but uh, but yeah, it makes such a mess. I just thought I'd keep going and then I'll um, tidy up once. But then uh, I was going to do the other side, but then we're going to have a beer and it's late and Bertie's tired, but he wants some attention. So um, so yeah, so I'm going to get tidied up and then we're going to going to finish for the night. Right, but it's been a good day. More boards, more mess. So I've now done all of the foam from uh, from this end all the way down here to to this part. So I need to continue going down and then going around the front. So, um, but yeah, this is definitely the most messy part. Um, or at least it's all messy, but it's harder to clear up here. So, um, so yeah, I had that and I've, um, I did that and then uh, had a good clean out. So, um, so yeah, so I'm going to continue doing that today. Um, you don't need to see that. It's just me cutting foam. It's boring. You've seen it so much before. So let me introduce you to my new neighbours. I feel a bit like Michaela Strachan on Spring Watch here, but this, these are my neighbours. You've met the honkers before, the Egyptian geese pair, but they've just had nine little chicks and they're kind of cute. The, the chicks strangely look a bit more smarter than the parents. The parents are a bit, they're a bit careless, shall we say. But yeah, let me introduce you to my new neighbours, the honkers and their nine chicks. Right, I'm finished. 
So I've um, I've continued down this way and I've gone all the way around the front and then uh, I've met this side. So that's all of the foam cut away on the ceiling. So I can just continue with the, with the boarding now. So oh, so it's Wednesday now and um, and then uh, so the video. Oh, my brain is slow now. The video comes out tomorrow, so I'm going to take all of this stuff and I'm going to edit it and I'm going to uh, encode it overnight and then upload it tomorrow. So you should be able to watch the first week. So we've got a lot done. It's really positive um, and we can uh, continue the boarding. But next time you'll be able to find out whether I managed to continue, managed to finish the ceiling off. Uh, so yeah, it's been a few days so far and um, we've got a few more days to go. We're going all the way through the uh, bank holiday weekend. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we'll get it done. But come back next time and I'll tell you, or I'll be able to show you, hopefully, a new ceiling. Thanks for watching. Thank you for bearing with me as I do even more this uh, this insulation chip in a way. But we're nearly there. Thanks for sticking with me and I'll see you next time.